Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at an accessory for the Nintendo Switch, which is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller Mount, which basically helps you play your Nintendo Switch in conjunction with a Pro Controller in portable mode. Now honestly, off the bat, I know this thing doesn't look quite impressive, but it actually surprised me. So keep tuned and we're going to find out if this accessory can be worth your money. Now, just before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this is not a sponsored video in any way. I paid for all these accessories myself. They weren't even provided by Oivo or any of the other uh, manufacturers that I'll talk about in this video. Secondly, I would just like to mention that this clip is actually available through a lot of different names because basically there's a lot of resellers offering this clip online. However, I'll be leaving a description down below. It'll be an affiliate link to the Amazon product that I actually bought. So if you want to pick one up for yourself and you want to help the channel out at the same time, please use that link. It'll give a little kickback to the channel. So now with all that out of the way, let's take a close up look at the clip itself, how it installs on the Pro Controller and get a better idea of just what it's working with. So first things, I always like to start out with the box. As you can see, like I mentioned, this is actually manufactured by Dolby Electronics, but when I bought it off of Amazon, it actually said that it was manufactured by Oivo. So as I said, these are generally offered through resellers, but pretty much uh, from a quick research online, this is a Chinese manufacturer. They make a lot of products for all the major systems, including the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite. So this wasn't a big surprise to me when I received it. Other than that, however, the packaging is pretty simple. We've got very simple branding on the sides. I then find that it's a handle bracket for the Nintendo Switch. And at the back, we've got a really brief description of basically what the functions are. So free risk rotation, strong stability, and that it's basically built for the Nintendo Switch once again. So when you open the box, you get two pieces. This is basically the part that will attach to the Pro Controller right here. And you have the part that will basically be holding your Nintendo Switch or Switch Lite on the other side. Putting them together can't be simpler. You basically just put one, the ball into the bracket here, you tighten down the head, and basically you've got your final product. Now, if we start with the bottom part, you've also got an adjustment here for how you want your Nintendo Switch angled. Once you have it set to what you like, you just have to basically tighten the screws on both sides and it'll be held in place at that point, not moving anymore. Now, when I got this product originally out of the box, I was a little worried because this bottom part does seem a little flimsy and not too solid, but uh, it's actually a misconception because once it's attached to your pro controller, it actually works out to be quite, quite solid. So don't be misled by the overview when you get this out of the box thinking that this is cheaply made or that it won't fit well on your Nintendo Pro Controller. It actually works out to be more solid than I thought it was going to be to start out with. Now installing it on the Pro Controller just requires you to basically unclip the section here. You saddle it around the Pro Controller and then you just basically pop it on. Once it's in position, the only thing you need to uh, check out for to make sure it's properly positioned is at the back here. You want to make sure that both your triggers are really free and usable because there is a tiny bit of wiggle room when you install it and it can actually block access to one of your bottom triggers here. Now from this point, like I said earlier, the last step is just to pop on the top part here. You tighten the vise at the back. and your clip is in place, ready to get your Nintendo Switch in there. And basically, once again, it's just a simple procedure to put it in and you've got yourself set up for your Nintendo Switch. And just to answer probably one of the first questions you guys are gonna have is, does the traditional Nintendo Switch fit in? Yes, it does. However, it is a little bit less accommodating size-wise and I strongly recommend if you're using it in with the traditional Nintendo Switch just to lower the weight, remove your Joy-Cons. Now another good thing to note is that since this accessory has been exactly form factored for the Pro Controller, you actually have access to the charge port at the back, the sync button as well when it's installed. 
And now by flipping it back, you also see that you have access to all your face buttons as well. So it's perfectly form factored so that none of the buttons, you know, you have full range of motion on your thumbsticks. You have plus minus, you have the capture button and the home button that are perfectly accessible. And it really is fact form factored exactly for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now, just to show you also, when you're ready to store this away, you can actually sort of collapse it down, twist this up, and your whole setup actually takes quite a bit less space. So once you've got it all together, this is what it looks like. And I know it's a little bit goofy, but you know what? Overall, this accessory, like I said earlier, actually surprised me because it's way more comfortable and way more functional than I was actually expecting it to be. Am I saying that it's the best way to play your Nintendo Switch? Probably not. But at the same time, it's a very decent option. And for anyone who already has a Pro Controller, I would actually strongly recommend it because when you're around the house and you want a little bit more control in a game, it's actually a pretty decent option. Now, as I said earlier, the construction of this thing, although at first glance, I thought it was going to be flimsy and not too uh, decent, it actually turned out to be a lot better, like I said, than I expected. And honestly, I have like no fear that my Nintendo Switch is going to pop out or fall out of this thing. It actually grips it pretty well. And once you've actually set it properly, your Nintendo Switch isn't going anywhere and isn't moving around while it's in this clip. Now, although I mentioned earlier that this fits both the Nintendo Switch Lite and the traditional Nintendo Switch, I've got to say it works a lot better with the Switch Lite just because it's slightly lighter. And even if you detach the Joy-Cons from the traditional Nintendo Switch, the extra pressure it's going to put on your hands from having to steady the unit on the bracket is actually going to put a lot of strain over time on your hands. However, with the Nintendo Switch Lite, I was able to play easily two to three hour sessions with the controller installed on the Nintendo Switch Lite and do it comfortably. However, not everything about this accessory is positive. Now there are a few things I think that are important that I point out. The first one being is that since it's actually so form-fitted to the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, it actually won't fit and won't work with any other controller that I could find. And I've tested it with actually quite a few controllers. And whether it be with a PowerA wired, a PowerA wireless controller, a PDP wired, a PDP wireless controller, whether it be with a Hori Pad, a Hori Pad wireless, none of them you're able to get this accessory to fit on. You really need a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller or one of the Chinese knockoffs that are exactly form factor to the exact shape and form of the traditional Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Fair warning though, if you are using one of those Chinese knockoffs, it's important to note that the fact that that controller is actually a lot lighter generally than the traditional Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, the, original, the official one, means that it's actually going to be putting a lot more strain on your forearms and your hands to actually hold the finalized setup straight. Because in this case, the actual fact that the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is a lot heavier than most other controllers on the market actually serves you well to offset the weight caused by the Nintendo in the bracket. Now, another sort of downside to all this is that it only really works well when you're playing the Nintendo Switch Lite upright, meaning that you're playing with it out in front of you, you can be laying on your stomach with it out, but this is going to work. If you're the kind of person that likes to lay on the couch or lay on a bed and play with the Nintendo Switch sort of, you know, over you, Unfortunately, this whole setup is really uncomfortable. It puts a lot of strain on your forearms, your wrists, and your hands to be keeping the Nintendo Switch, you know, basically well positioned while you're playing. And it just really becomes uncomfortable after like five or 10 minutes. I really wouldn't recommend it for anyone that your main way you play your Nintendo Switch would be in a laying down position. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the price of this whole setup. And that is probably the biggest factor that is a problem for this accessory. It's that you have to have a Pro Controller. And if you want the original Pro Controller, that means a $60 investment plus the $15 accessory. And basically, then you need to throw in the price of your Nintendo Switch. Now, if you already own a Pro Controller, 
this actually becomes a really decent buy because it's only an extra $15 and you've got a really comfortable portable setup. But a lot of owners of the Nintendo Switch Lite probably aren't going to have pro controllers lying around. And since that's the best console for using in conjunction with this, it maybe loses a little bit of its luster. However, if you own a traditional Nintendo Switch and you already had the Pro Controller, once again, even with the traditional Nintendo Switch, I would recommend buying one of these because honestly, it became my preferred method when I need a quick setup and I wanna be able to walk around the house, but I want the extra control that having a controller gives me. Now you could go the route, like I said, of buying one of those cheaper Chinese knockoff Pro Controllers, but as I said, the overall setup does lose a little bit of its comfort because of that lower weight on those controllers. So overall, I've got to say, this accessory has really surprised me. I mean, when I bought it, I actually bought it thinking that I would be making a video, most likely telling all of you how this accessory is really not worth it, how it isn't sturdy enough, how it doesn't work well, and how maybe, you know, I would be scared at every moment, but that my Nintendo Switch would go flying out of the controller. But as you've seen throughout this whole review, I mean, I've been twisting this thing around, throwing it left, right, and center. Now, I wouldn't go absolutely crazy, but as you can see, my Nintendo Switch has not moved this whole time. So that means that you can actually play pretty much any game with this setup, even a fighting game where you might be, you know, moving around a lot because sometimes you can get really into it and really passionate about your play. And this thing isn't going to drop your Nintendo Switch. I mean, Honestly, I, I trust it. It's not because it's Chinese built that it, you can't trust it at all. Honestly, it works out to hold my Nintendo Switch really securely. And really, the only thing I can say is the whole overall price of the setup, but not because of the accessory itself, like I said earlier. It's because of the pro controller you need to have to make it work. But if you already have one, guys, do yourself a favor, pick one of these up, try it out. You won't regret it. For $15, you'll see that if you play a lot in handheld mode, you'll be actually getting a comfortable experience out of it. Anyways, we're not going to beat a dead horse any more than this. Overall, this thing really surprised me. It's a decent buy. Pick one up. If you play a lot in handheld mode, you won't regret it. Now, as usual, like I said, you can use the link down below. It will really help the channel out a lot. If you guys are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content and want to help me make more videos. Drop a like as well. It actually does help a lot to get my video suggested to other people on the internet and, you know, get more visibility. And the more I get of that, the more accessories I'll be able to buy or get them eventually. And the more videos I'll be making for all of you out there. So as usual, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. And I hope I'll catch you guys in my next video.